Hey guys and welcome to our channel and in today's video I will show you how to add a toggle button to WordPress in three different ways. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. All right, so many websites are using the toggle buttons in their membership pages. As you can see over here, this is one example. You can uh, click on the switch button and the content will be different. So the toggle button will change the content based on your click. So let's add a toggle button to our website. We can do it in three different ways. The first way by using the Gutenberg uh, default editor. But for that, we'll need to add a new plugin to add the custom block. So we'll look for essential blocks. And this is a great plugin that will add many new blocks to your WordPress website. It's developed by WP Developer, which is a great company. So let's install and activate it. And once you activated it, navigate to your desired page. Click on the plus icon to add a new block and search for toggle. Now, because we activated the plugin, we'll have this new toggle block. Great. After you edit it, you can change the content, for example, of the handles, the colors, and the content itself. For example, we can type in, this is the content on the left. Then you can click on the toggle button to switch to the content on the right. And then you just paste it and change the content to, this is the content on the right. Now this Gutenberg block comes with three tabs that we can use to change and customize the toggle. For example, we can change the slider shape to toggle or rectangle, whatever you want. And you can also use the style tab in order to change the color of it. So let's move on to the style and we'll change the background color from blue to any other color, maybe pink. Now if you would like to change the handles, all you need to do is just click on the handle name, for example, second or first, and type in whatever you want, for example, left and right, or any other text that you would like to enter there. When you're done, just click on update and visit the front page to make sure it's working as expected. And as you can see, this is the content on the left, we'll switch and we can see the new content. If you are using Elementor, you can definitely add a toggle widget to Elementor as well. This time we'll need to add Essential add-ons. It's the same company that developed the Essential blocks for Gutenberg. So we'll click on Install and Activate. Now because the toggle widget is part of the Pro version, we will need to install the Pro version as well. I will leave you some links in the description box down below where to get the Pro version. And after you downloaded it, just drag it into the WordPress dashboard, click on Installed and then on Activate. Once you have both the free and the Pro version installed on your website, we can edit with Elementor our desired page. We will search for our new toggle widget that was added by Essential Add-ons for Elementor plugin. And once we found it, we will drag it to our desired location. Then, just like any other Elementor widget, we can change any aspect of this widget, the colors, the content, etc. We can see under the content tab, we have two tabs. We have primary and secondary, and we can change the content of each of them. Then we can move on to the style tab. For example, if we'd like to change the sliding look to rectangle, just like so, or if we'd like to change the text color or the background color. So for example, to change the background color to red, just like so, we can also change the handle color or the label color to red maybe. And the nice thing, we can change the color of the non-active one to a different one. For example, maybe pink, just like so. Also, keep in mind, guys, that the content accept shortcodes so you can enter more complex content such as like pricing tables and stuff like that. Once you're done, let's visit the front page and make sure it works as expected. And on the third way, we'll use our own structure. It's assembled by three components, HTML, CSS and jQuery. Now this is a little bit more advanced. It's pretty simple, but a little bit more advanced than just using a plugin. 
but the option exists if you want. So first of all, let's copy the HTML. We'll go to any of the pages and add an HTML block. And we'll paste it over here. Then we'll click on update and visit the page. Now, because we didn't attach the CSS yet, it will look naked. It will look plain. But that's all gonna change soon after we will use the CSS and the jQuery. So let's move on to the second step and use the CSS to prettify it. We'll go back to the written blog post. Again, you have the link in the description box down below. And we'll copy the CSS from here. Then we'll go to our team file editor and into the style sheet of our child team. And we can paste it over here all the way at the bottom. Then we'll scroll down and click on update. Then let's refresh the page and we can see that our toggle button got the style on and it works great. However, it doesn't change the content yet. And that's because we are still missing the jQuery code. And we can install the jQuery or paste the jQuery inside the footer.php. However, I recommend you to download this simple custom CSS and JS plugin. It's easier and you can create custom codes by using this plugin. Once you activated it, we'll go back to our written blog post and copy the jQuery code. And we'll go into this plugin and we'll paste it over here. Then all we have left to do is just to click on update and revisit the page to make sure it works as expected. And when testing it, I can see that it's changing the content as expected. All right, guys. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please let me know if you have any questions regarding the process by leaving a comment down below. Please also like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel because there are more great videos on the way. I will see you all in the next video.